Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi. So uh, today I am happy to announce that WP Pocket URLs, the plugin that I submitted to WordPress.org plugin repository was approved. So let me show you the steps that was ne were necessary to the plugin to be approved. So first they uh, rejected it because it contained some small issues so data must be sanitized escaped and validated i did not validate some get variables also i used curl in my code and this should be replaced with wordpress http api uh, i did not add defined apps path to all my php files because i forgot for some of them and also I had a function uh, in, in JavaScript function that uh, had a common name and this uh, needed to be fixed. So there were four small issues that uh, needed to be fixed. So I made the fixes in the plugin. I replied to them that I made the fixes and thank you for your kind review and you can download it from here. So they rechecked it and this time they approved it so i only needed to make some small fixes in the code and i got approved to publish my uh, wordpress plugin on wordpress.org so now let me show you how i will actually commit the code to the wordpress.org repository and uh, yeah these are the steps that you will need to make so besides this email that confirms that you got approved you will get also this email afterwards that will state that in one hour your account will be granted commit access to the svn repository so this is the svn repository that you can use so this should be copied okay now let's go to a folder where your uh, plugins are located in on your local uh, hard drive so let's create i like to keep these plugins separately from where i develop them because i like to make a development version on my local uh, wordpress site and also a stable version for committing to wordpress.org repository because of this I created this directory SVN and uh, I have to create a new folder here to place the plugin files in them so the plugin is called WP pocket URLs so let's create this folder and here uh, I already installed tortoise SVN or tortoise i'm not sure how to pronounce this tortoise okay so we can uh, click svn checkout on this so click svn checkout and here in the url of repository enter the url that you got from them and here you can leave everything okay like this and you have here the files that they added by default so this is the repository structure that they add by default so tags branches assets so let me talk about each of them uh, by exemplifying on my previous plugin that i submitted to the directory so the trunk here is the main version of the plugin here you can put also unstable versions but i don't recommend putting here unstable versions of the plugin because there might be issues in this case so in trunk you should put the latest version of the plugin that you develop so let me put it this way so here should be always the latest and greatest version of the plugin so in the here in trunk we can go and copy the files of the plugin so we can 
Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So here is the development version of my plugin from my local website where I create and uh, develop plugins and I simply pasted here everything. So in trunk I added everything. Now let's go back to the previous plugin I created and see what we have in tags. So in tags you will have a version, version uh, so you will have the plugin versions that you created. So because of this in tags let me go and create a new folder and it will be called 1.0.0 in this case because this is the first version that I created for this plugin and here also we will put the same plugin files that we put in the trunk here so now we have the tags with the version 1.0.0 and the trunk now let's go back and see branches the branches is empty. The branches can be used to create different branches for the commit, but this is an advanced feature and you might not use this for uh, now. And uh, sets, these are the banners that will be used for the plugin, the icon, and also some screenshots. So I will create this. Uh, right now for the plugin and I will be back because I haven't created this so far so I will pause the video and I will be getting to you guys back when I finish creating these banner files icon files and screenshots okay so I am back I created the assets of so let me show you this is the banner image it shows the name of the plugin with some basic features and an image which is kind of representative. Also this or, uh, comes in two formats, right to left and left to right. Also in larger resolution format, the same. The icon of the plugin is a simple one and some screenshots of the plugins admin interface and also what something to note about these screenshots is that in your readme file you should match this uh, so in your readme file you should match the screenshot listing with actually what are the screenshots about so screenshot one is about settings page <clears throat> screenshot 2 is about reports and so on so this is the basic uh, a set format for uploading a WordPress plugin to the WordPress plugin repository so you have to have screenshots these kinds of icons with these resolutions and these banners R right to left is also recommended with these resolutions and uh, also larger resolutions so uh, the naming format should be like you see here so screenshot one two three four icon resolution and banner the resolution and right to left so these are uh, all the assets that i created so i added the main file main files of the plugin in the trunk i created the version of the plugin in the tags and here I will increment the versions when I release new versions for the plugin and copy the new uh, version of the file in of the plugin in a new directory and also the assets will be uh, placed like here and now we can go back to the SVN directory and simply SVN commit our initial files. So we should check here to commit everything that we added. And right here, initial commit. And all we have to do is hit OK on this. Let me move myself for out of the way and hit OK. If this is the first time you submit things to WordPress 
directory then you will be prompted for a username and password but uh, this will be your uh, case sensitive WordPress username and password so wordpress.org uh, if you log in there you can use the same username and password as your login on wordpress.org I was not prompted this because I already have a plugin that I submitted here in this um, folder and SVN already knew my credentials so yeah this is all and after this is processed by them, them this commit is processed by them the plugin will be visible also in wordpress.org here so after a few minutes if i will be searching here for wp pocket urls it will be visible so yet it is not uh process by them but I will pause this video and I will be back when it will be uh, visible also here in wordpress.org plugins directory so it is back and it is online so they are very uh, quickly processing commits and the plugin is already online so if you go to this URL I will link it in this video description you will be able to get this plugin for free from the wordpress.org so this is a full plugin it has no limitations you can get it and use it as you wish you can also join my facebook group which is linked from here where you will be able to get help and uh, if you have questions or issues regarding wordpress or wordpress automation i will be there to help also check my youtube channel it is right here where you are watching this video please subscribe and i really appreciate your help okay so this is the plugin so we can see the banner the icon a download button versions when it was submitted how many active installations it has tested up to wordpress 5.5 tags okay rating support donate the screenshots that we created are listed here faq okay so basically this is the uh, result of me committing to wordpress.org one of my free plugins so yeah this is all for this video thank you for watching until the end uh, don't forget to check this video's description for more help on how to commit uh, plugins to wordpress.org also check my previous video where I uh, submitted the plugin to review and yeah this is all for today your subscription is appreciated have a nice day stay safe bye bye